In this quick review, we want to talk about now what's called a payout annuity. In the previous quick review, we talked about annuities in general and, and, and what are called saving annuities, where you're saving for the future. Now what we want to do okay, is, is begin with this payout annuity. So in the previous review, we learned about annuities. In an annuity, you start with nothing and you put money in your account on a regular basis and end up with money in our account. So what we want to do in this section, in this review here, is we want to learn about a variation called the payout annuity. With the payout annuity, we start with money in our account. So it's like, oh, I've, I've, I've got to retirement. And now what I want to do is I want to pull money out of the account on a regular basis. But what happens is as you pull money out, any money that's still in the account earns interest. So and what you want to do is after a fixed amount of time, you want the account to be empty. So basically, um, these payout annuities are typically used after retirement. So here, here's a hypothetical situation. Perhaps you've saved $500,000 for retirement. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to take out money out of the account each month to live on. All right. And we want this money to last for 20 years. Okay. So I have half a million dollars and I want it to last for 20 years. So basically what happens is at the end of 20 years, you've spent all your, your half a million dollars. Okay. This is called a payout annuity. All right. And, but just remember, after you take out the first amount of money, your money is still earning interest. Okay. All right, so that this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Like we just don't divide 500,000 by 20 years and then to, then by 12 months to get how much we would take out. That would be like if we were getting no interest, but so your money is still getting interest. All right, and we're gonna use the TVM solver for this. That's what we're gonna focus on in this lecture. So after retiring, you want to be able to take out $100,000 every month. So what this is, what this is given, this is what you're starting with. You're, you're paying yourself $1,000 a month. So the way the interpretation of why it's negative here is because um, you're removing it from the account. For a total of 20 years, okay, so N... We're going to do 20 years times 12. You're going to withdraw from the account 240 times. All right. I'm telling you the account earns 6% um, interest. All right. So the question is, how much will you need in your account when you retire? All right. This is Now, this is where things get um, a little bit tricky. So we're going to do everything end of month here. Okay, so we're gonna withdraw from end of month and um, your, your, your interest is gonna be compounded monthly. All right. So we're gonna go apps, finance, TVM solver. All right, here's where things get tricky. We'll start with what we know, all right? We're going to make 240 withdrawals. The interest rate is six. And we're going to want to take out a thousand dollars, right? Scroll down to payments per year and compounds per year be 12 and we'll do end of month. So now here's the thing. What it's asking you is how much will you need in your account when you retire? And so what's tricky here is, um, you have to figure out what we're solving for. Are we solving for present value or future value? And like, like, let me go back. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. What we want is we want the money to be uh, to last however long, and we want the account to end up empty. All right. So if we want the account to end up empty, that means in the future we want the account to go to zero. So when we retire, that's like. On day one, on day one, when we go to retire, how much do we need in our account? That would be the present value of the account of that day. So now we're going to solve for present value. So I'm going to hit alpha solve. And you would need this much, right? So just so you know, we're solving for present value. And you would need 139000 $580 and 77 cents. 
And just so you can see like the power of interest, suppose you wanted to withdraw a thousand dollars every month um, for 20 years. Like if your if your account wasn't getting any interest, you would need to have that much money saved, two hundred and forty thousand. All right, but because our money is still getting interest, we we you know, need a little bit more. We only need a little bit more than half of that. All right, let's do another one. All right, so you know you will have um, five hundred thousand dollars in your account when you retire. Okay, so you, you, you saved half a million dollars. You want to be able to take monthly withdrawals from the account for a total of 30 years. Okay, you know your retirement account earns 8% interest. So how much will you be able to withdraw each month? Hmm. So this problem is different. This is telling you how much is in your retirement account. So you're given the starting amount of your retirement account. So that's the present value. I'm told the interest rate, your account's getting 8%. And you want to make monthly withdrawals for 30 years. So you want your, your money to last a long time. So you're going to take 360 withdrawals. So it's asking you how much you'll be able to withdraw each month. So that's what you're asking to solve for, how much you're going to pay yourself each month. Okay, so let's see. So we're gonna go apps, finance, TVM solver. I'm gonna make 360 result withdrawals. The interest rate is 8%. I'm starting with $500,000, right? Because it's a, say, a payout annuity, I want the future value, right? Like in retirement, I want my account to go to zero. I want to spend all my money. I want to have a good time, all right? So we're going to do monthly withdrawals, and we're going to do compounded uh, monthly, and we're going to do end of, end of month. We'll just make those assumptions. So now I'm going to go to PMT. I'm going to hit alpha solve. You'll notice it comes back as negative because the way it's interpreting it is you're taking it out of the account. So your account is losing that much money. All right. That's why there's the negative sign there. But look, you're going to be able to pay yourself a pretty good, pretty good chunk of change. You're going to pay yourself each month All right, I know there's a lot thrown at you with this TVM solver here, um, but as always, practice uh, will make perfect and uh, you know, stick with it, all right? And always ask your instructor should you have any questions.